Did you know that forests cover nearly one third of land globally? That's around 4.06 billion hectares. The world still has at least 1.11 billion hectares of primary forest. However, the area of primary forest has decreased by 81 million hectares since 1990. The adverse impact on the forest ecosystem has led to significant climate changes leading to increasing air pollution and reduction in rainfall. If we were to compare this fact with the human body, particularly our kidneys, it does reveal an interesting perspective. We have 1 million nephrons in each kidney that are responsible for all the functions that the kidneys do such as filtering the blood, removing toxins, etc. Decrease in forest cover eventually impacts the environment, leading to an increase in air pollution. Same way, our kidneys lose their filtration capacity with loss of nephrons over time. That leads to toxin accumulation in the body. Certain diseases such as blood pressure, diabetes, etc. increases the risk of losing nephrons far more rapidly than the usual rate of deterioration we observe with aging, making kidneys weaker over time, leading to chronic kidney disease. So, nephrons are the basic functioning unit of the kidney. Each kidney is made up of around 1 to 1.5 million nephrons. Basic functioning unit means that it does all the functions which a kidney does. So when you look at the structure of the nephron, what happens is that there is small, very small capillary-like blood vessels which come over there. They are very fine blood vessels and there is a cup sort of a shape in which these blood vessels come. And uh, because of this special nature, the blood gets filtered over here. And uh, this filtrate is called the glomerular filtrate. And this whole structure of the blood vessels coming in a cup which is receiving is called the glomerulus. Now this filtrate then goes into the tubule which is the next part. And over here there are some structures which are called a proximal tubule, a loop of Henle, and a distal tubule, then a collecting duct. So these all are the parts uh, which together form what we call as nephron. So a filtration occurs in the glomerulus, then in the tubules there is concentration, uh, absorption of the things which we, uh, the body needs and also elimination of certain toxins and in the loop there is a lot of concentration so that you do not waste any water that you are able to conserve. So it is a very nice conserving unit. And finally, it also modulates uh, the electrolyte concentrations, acid base. So all these things are done by a single nephron. Now, in a kidney, there are millions of these, uh, so 1 to 1.5 million, and they work collectively together to make uh, the urine and filter the blood uh, so that our body remains healthy.